Okay, the next one, your patient has multiple sclerosis, has some balance and coordination problems. What kind of gait pattern do we want so they'll be nice and stable? Four point. Four point, okay, so go ahead and teach your patient four point. Okay, good. So I'm seeing crutch opposite foot, crutch opposite foot. Okay, what do you have to teach your patient about the second crutch that comes forward? It has to go past the first two. Good. Okay, your patient's doing better. How are you going to progress this patient? Two point. Go ahead and teach your patient two point. Good. Okay, go back to your four point for just a minute. Okay, go back to the four point. It's hard to hear out here. Okay, listen, your patient's doing the four point and having problems. How are you going to regress? Smaller steps or slower? That's all you can do to regress. Okay. All right, now your patient has hemiplegia. So we're going to say left-sided hemiplegia. So right-side CVA would be left-sided hemiplegia. Okay, so go ahead and teach your patient what gait pattern are you going to choose? Modified point gait, okay? So we're going to assume that their left upper extremity doesn't work at all. Picture it in a sling, okay? Go ahead and teach the modified point gait. Left side involved. Left side involved? Yep. Right side CVA. Uh, yes, right side CVA would be left side hemiplegia, correct. Okay, which hand is going to be your hover hand, therapist? Your left hand should be your hover hand, good. Okay, your patient's doing better. You're going to progress. Remember, you have the two choices. Either one of those choices you can use, the upper or the lower on the board. So go ahead and teach them one of the two choices. Okay, and that would be one of the choices there. Crutch and opposite foot. And just step two at the beginning, though, remember. Yep, at first. There you go. Okay. And the other choice. <laughs> See if I can find one with the other choice here. There we go. There's the other choice. Crutch, involved foot, uninvolved foot too. Oops. There we go. Crutch, involved foot two, other foot passed. Sorry. Okay, now go ahead and take that patient to the final progression, if you haven't already. Crutch and foot two, and step through with the strong leg. Lovely. All right, now we have a patient who is a paraplegic patient. Let's say paralyzed. <laughs> that was good for a paraplegic patient. <laughs> <laughs> um, paralyzed from the waist down at some point, okay? Um, what gait pattern do you think that person's going to use? A bilateral swing too, okay? So both crutches forward and then both feet. 
Okay, your patient is having a hard time. After the feet come forward, the patient's losing his balance. What are you going to do? Add a pause. Add a pause. So you're going to bring crutches forward, feet, and then crutches again real quick. Crutches, feet, crutches, crutches, feet, crutches. Good. Good job.